Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel, Poverty Hill Adventures. Today's video on a beautiful, absolutely beautiful, late December day. What a difference a year makes. Last year, this time, we had a blizzard. We had an absolute blizzard. As you can see, we got no snow right now, but uh, we're going to have an odds and ends video today or as I like to call them, an oddments video. And this one would be oddments number 96. I'm glad everybody's here. I have been wanting to try this uh, uh, for several, <laughs> several days now. I finished up my uh, water wheel powered hot dog cooker and I'm gonna try it out I'm gonna try it out I'm down here at the creek I'm gonna see if it actually works uh, it's made out of all things that I found here in the forest uh, got a branch uh, that I cut a, a little sliver out of a branch located the center drilled it out as close as I could to center Measured it all the way around, and I, I uh, took these little um, shoots off of some sort of a shrub. I don't know what exactly it was, some sort of bush, uh, and um, it measured out perfectly uh, all the way around, divided by ten. I've got ten spokes to the wheel, and they're an inch apart for paddles. I uh, found a dead birch tree and I peeled off some of the bark and uh, that's going to be the paddles it's uh, got a the axle or or whatever you want to call it shaft that's another um, shoot I found growing out here and uh, I put a counterweight on one side that will hopefully offset the weight of the hot dog which will be on a rotisserie, water-powered rotisserie, uh, spinning, and will give us a perfectly cooked hot dog, hopefully, uh, unless uh, unless the uh, water wheel self-destructs. Uh, unfortunately, I never made it to the store uh, to get any hot dogs, so today we're just going to give it a test. We're going to see if it works, uh, and then uh, next time I get to the store and get myself a package of hot dogs. We'll cook them up for everybody. So uh, this will uh, be in two fork sticks. It'll rest on two fork sticks that'll be stuck into the creek uh, bottom. So let's give it a try. Well, as you can see, my water-powered hot dog cooker passed its first test. <laughs> the water uh, rotates it, and it almost looks like it rotates it at a pretty good speed, at least with the creek flow it's flowing today. Um, the next thing I'm going to have to work out is a uh, some sort of platform so I can build uh, the fire uh, above the, the water uh, and then I got to go to the store and get myself a package of hot dogs and we're going to have a cookout. We're going to have a cookout down here right next to the creek and that'll be a lot of fun. So um, I'm, pretty, I'm pretty happy uh, that this thing actually worked and didn't self-destruct. Speaking of prototypes, I the next item I got is another prototype. I didn't make it, but uh, I got my hands on 
one of the hottest fishing lures. It's a prototype of what they're, everybody in the fishing world is talking about the gobbler wobbler. Uh, the gobbler wobbler, uh, I got my hands on a prototype of it and uh, it was gifted to me to test out next uh, bass season and I can't wait. I can't wait. <laughs> I'll tell you. It's uh, very cool. It's a uh, uh, surface bait and it's got a lip on it and kind of wobbles through the, through the water. It's made out of hardwood. It's hand carved from this particular one was hand carved from a piece of cherry. It's got two great big eyes on it and a tail and it also has uh, some sparkles on there that re uh, resemble fish scales. So I can't wait. Uh, but I, I wanted to show everybody the Gobbler Wobbler prototype. Uh, it's being developed by our friend Kevin over at Gobbler's Roost Adventures. And he uh, not only does Kevin make game calls uh, through, his, through his business, uh, Buffalo Hunter Game Calls, but he's branching out and he's gonna start making fishing lures. And I got my hands on a prototype of the Gobbler Wobbler. Santa Claus, also known as Joe, <laughs> gifted me a couple of new knives to try out. Boy, and I can't wait. There are a couple of just beautiful fixed blades. Hey, does this guy look familiar? <laughs> I uh, painted this uh, the other day. This is a steelhead that I caught, and it more than likely will be the last fish that I catch this year, uh, 2023. And I, I keep uh, a log book of uh, all the fish that I catch, and, uh, you know, the numbers and and the species and I think what I'm gonna do is uh, with this painting is on the on the back side I think I'm going to record all that uh, all the fish that I caught this year and uh, the species the number uh, and um, I figure it'd be a nice keepsake you know it was a great year fishing uh, um, not especially uh, because of um, the numbers of fish I caught or anything like that, but um, more because of the number of memories that I made fishing. And it was just a very enjoyable year of fishing. And I thought I'd uh, show everybody the, the little painting that I did to commemorate <laughs> uh, the 2023 personal fishing season of mine.
during the season and I like to start each season so I'll start next spring with fresh line um, I'm trying something different this time uh, I had read about dropping the spool of of uh, line in a bucket of water uh, and then as you're reeling it putting it on your on your reel uh, it's supposed to lay down better now I don't know if that's true or not um, put a little uh, little tension on it here and uh, we're gonna try it see how it works this particular pole this is my my old ugly stick here and I uh, this is a real workhorse <laughs> of a pole and I I'm putting 10 pound test on this. Most most of my rods I put uh, six pound on and then either two to four uh, on the ultra lights. And um, so it's something I got in the habit of doing uh, many, many years ago. Uh, I would hate to lose a really nice fish because I uh, did not change the line. Line is relatively inexpensive and it's easy to change. And if you don't feel like changing it yourself, go to your local uh, bait and tackle shop and they'll they'll change it for you. I love this pole, this old old ugly stick, fiberglass ugly stick. Got a a Mitchell spinning reel on it. I caught a lot of fish with this. A lot of fish. There you go. Ready for another year. Until next time, everybody, take care. Thank you for watching. Remember to keep on trucking. And, and as our friend Bigfoot says, believe in yourself even when nobody else does.